you know, if you want to be happier, you have to try. You have to put in the effort. Your problem is that you don't try. I do try. I have tried. I have tried for 16 years. I'm at the edge and I look down. It's far. It's calling me. I hope of something better. A third option. It hits me then. I haven't ever known what I wanted out of life. Until now. I sort of want to be dead. If you want to be happier, you have to try. You have to put in the effort. I do try. I have tried. I have tried for 16 years. Do you want to kill yourself? He asks. And the question sounds unreal. Because you never hear anyone ever asking that question in real life. I don't want you to do that, he says. I can't let you do that. You can't leave me here alone. His voice breaks. You need to be here, he says, and he raises his hands to cover up his face. I'm sorry, I say, because his face, all scrunched up and melting, physically hurts me. Against my will, I step away from the edge and closer to him, and I hope that this makes him understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I pause, suddenly understanding everything. This boy, this person. How has it taken me this long to understand? He needed me as much as I needed him. I'm at the edge and I look down. It's far. It's calling me. I hope of something better. A third option. It hits me then. I haven't ever known what I wanted out of life. Until now. I sort of want to be dead. Dad comes into the living room. Alive then? I say nothing, because I do not feel alive. Dad sits next to me. Are you going to tell me what's wrong? No, I am not. Maybe it's about me. I laugh. Silly. Silly thought. Silly me. Selfish. Nothing is ever about me. Why am I an idiot? This is probably my fault. Everything is my fault. Sometimes I hate people. This is probably very bad for my mental health. My phone rings. 1.39 a.m. Home calling. Hello? Tori, are you coming home yet? Oliver, why aren't you in bed? Ollie, are you alright? Why did you call me? Oliver, are you there? Something's wrong with Charlie. What has happened? What's happened, Oliver? I can't get in the kitchen. Charlie shut the door and I can't open it. I can hear him. When are you coming home, Tori? I'm coming home right now. I rush toward the kitchen door, which is closed. Charlie, total silence. Open the door, Charles. I'm not joking. I'll break the door. Don't come in. Don't come in here, please. No, go away. Leave me alone. I look at him. Get out! He's been crying. Dad comes into the living room. Alive then? I say nothing because I do not feel alive. Dad sits next to me. Are you going to tell me what's wrong? No, I am not. You know, 
If you want to be happier, you have to try. You have to put in the effort. Your problem is that you don't try. I do try. I have tried. I have tried for 16 years. These dreams and feelings we were real and through the midnight streets and I've never felt more alone. Feel Show you never hangs out with anyone. What a loser. Didn't you hear about him? Everyone knows. Do you want to kill yourself? He asks. And the question sounds unreal. Because you never hear anyone ever asking that question in real life. I don't want you to do that, he says. I can't let you do that. You can't leave me here alone. His voice breaks. You need to be here. Jesus fucking Christ. I know I'm a stupid twatish pessimist, but stop acting like I'm some kind of manically depressed psychopath. And then suddenly, like a wind change or a bump in the road, suddenly he's an entirely different person. His smile dies. He clenches his fist and he snarls. He actually snarls at me. Maybe you are a manically depressed psychopath. Even when it's someone who you think is perfect, like my brother. My little brother. He's so perfect, but he's... He doesn't like food. One day, he got so fed up with himself, he was like... He was so annoyed, he hated how much he loved food, yeah? So he thought it would be better if there wasn't any food. But that's so silly, because you've got to eat food or you'll die, won't you? So my brother Charles, Charlie, he, he thought it would be better if he just got it over with then and there. So he, last year, he, he hurt himself. Do you want to kill yourself? He asks. And the question sounds unreal. Because you never hear anyone ever asking that question in real life. I don't want you to do that. He says, I can't let you do that. You can't leave me here alone. His voice breaks. You need to be here, he says, and he raises his hands to cover up his face. I'm sorry, I say, because his face. I rush toward the kitchen door, which is closed. I feel sick. Charlie, I knock on the door. Total silence. I attempt to get in, but he's blocked it with something. Open the door, Charles. I'm not joking. I'll break the door. No, you won't. His voice is dead. Empty. But I'm relieved, because he's alive. There are a couple of blood-stained tissues in his hands. He's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I can't do anything. It's hard not to throw up.